For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you. Two weeks ago, we looked at opening training in Fritz, where you go to the training tab, click opening training, select an opening to practice against Fritz. And when you make a wrong move, Fritz will tell you that you've made an incorrect move in that opening. We have a nice list of various openings here. We can make it more detailed by click the detailed box. And we get a whole bunch of different variations here. That's pretty good. There's a pretty extensive list here. But some things aren't there. Some things, a lot of things don't matter to me because I don't play them. For example, um, you know, occasionally I have to play against Ali Ekin's defense, but I don't play against the Benoni. I'm not a D-pawn player. Uh, I sometimes have to play against the Bird, but not very often. Bishop's opening, I don't play. Blumenfeld counter gambit, I don't play. I don't play the Bogo Indian. So there's a lot of stuff here that does not apply to me. So I want to make a specific opening training repertoire for me to train against. How do I do that? It's actually very sim similar to what we did last week with the end game training where we created a database and put end game positions into it. It works in a very similar manner and we're going to show you how to do that today. Again like last week this is a little bit more advanced. This isn't just click and do it. I mean there's some steps you need to go through and you do need to know about files and folders. If you don't know that stuff you should learn it you wouldn't drive a car without taking driving lessons first. The same thing with a computer. You do have to learn a few things to properly operate it. So uh, once you've learned that stuff, come on back to this video and we can show some things that will benefit you here. Let me cancel out of this. To create a database, as we saw last week, you just go to the application menu, click that green button, go to new, go to new database, and you can create a database. I've already created one. It's called Openings 2. It's in another folder. I'm not going to go through all the steps here, but that's how you get to it. Once you've created that database, once you've gone through those steps, finding the correct folder you want to store it in, etc., then what you do is come back to this screen here and you go to Home and New Game to set the board up for Game of Chess. However, we're going to put in moves for both sides. We don't want Fritz to reply. We don't want Fritz to make a move when we make one. Go to the Engine tab and switch off engine. Very important. Turn that off. Make sure that Fritz does not reply when you make a move on the chessboard. Then you can just start making moves. I have a book here. There's a, a particular line of the Karakhan Advanced Variation, which I do play as black, and I would like to, uh, well, I play the Karakhan as black, and a lot of my opponents like the Advanced Variation. So we're going to put those in. We're just going to going to punch in those moves using the mouse. Grab a piece and move it. This would be easier if I had the board flipped around because that would be what I'm more used to looking at, but it's okay. We'll just go ahead and go this way with it. These are the standard moves here, at least according to the reference that I'm using. That brings up another subject, which is what happens when you have variations, and we can show you that here in a minute. And there we go, we're done. This is the variation I'm going to pretty much attempt to, to follow along with this. However, there are other places where uh, an opponent, or, my, or me, you know, could make other moves. And what you can do here is you can put in variations, and I'll show you how to do that. If you, for example, if I want two different paths that I can take at my sixth move, which is C5, I just click on that move, and by hitting the T key on the keyboard, it takes that move back and it allows me to put in an alternative move at that point, which would be this, and see how we've started a variation. Then we'll just put in some more moves here. And there we go. So we'll go that far with it. Now if I decide to practice this as white for some reason, what will happen is when we get to black six move, Fritz will randomly pick between these two moves. Sometimes it'll play c5, sometimes it'll play f6, whereas as a player playing the black pieces, I'll be able actually to play either one of those moves, and Fritz will accept either one of those as a acceptable move. In other words, I won't get Leo popping up telling me that I'm wrong. So here we have the new game has been put in. I can put more stuff into it later, but that's as far as I want to go in the video, and now we have to save the game. So we go to the application menu, 
Save Game As, which allows us to select the database into which we want to save it. Openings 02, which I created back in the first step before we started the video. I can just double click on it or click on it and click New Open. And then I get this. I can type in Caracon Advance. I can get rid of the year, month, and day. We don't need a result. It's just opening training. All I need is that when I go to my list of openings, I can identify this opening. And since it's my personal repertoire, I don't need to put, you know, from the black side or, or whatever. I know I'm going to be playing it as black. So I just put in Caracon Advance. ECO code is already put in automatically. I click OK. And we're done. And now all we have to do is tell Fritz where our new opening training is. Because if we go to training now and we click opening training, we get the default list. So we go to application menu, come down here to options, click the training tab, and now we can click the browse button. Openings is the default one. I made my uh, databases in the same folder as the default that Fritz uses for its own training. I'm going to click Openings 02. If we go here and we hit End on the keyboard, we can jump to the end and see that I've selected it. Click OK. And now when I go to Opening Training, there's the openings I've put in there. Caracon Advance, and one I did a couple weeks ago is Smith Mar Gambit. If I click Caracon Advance, there's my ending position. And it shows me the moves I will be expected to play. So there we go. And if we click OK, and actually click Learn Moves first, and then click OK, it'll jump us to the opening position where I can flip the board around. Now, if I want to practice against Fritz in opening training, what I have to do is I have to get Fritz to make the first move if I'm playing the black side. How do we do that? couple different ways to go. One is to hit the space bar on the keyboard. The other way is to go to the Home tab and select Move Now. And all Fritz is going to know here is the Caracon Advance. And at this point I completely forget it's this I think. And I gotta come back here. And now I forget what the heck I'm supposed to play. But I think it might have been this. Nope! Leo pops up and says that is not the correct move. So I can either have Leo show me the move, I can ignore the move if I want to play on from this position, or I can take the move back and try again. That's how you do it. That's how opening training works. We saw that a couple of videos ago. Now you can put your own opening variations into opening training, and you can put your own repertoire in there and practice in your own select repertoire against Fritz. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.